for watching News here on the Rise News. We begin this bulletin with a breaking news that the Central Bank of Nigeria has extended by 10 days the period allowed for the deposit of old issues of the 200, 500, and 1,000 Naira denominations, which has been all on for the past three months. Now, in a statement issued a short while ago by the Serbian governor, Godwin Emefile, after a meeting with President Muhammad Buhari, the Apex Bank said it has achieved 75% success with a recapture of 2.7 trillion naira outside the banking system. Now, let's bring in our rise business analyst, Chika Mbonu, who joins us now for a breakdown of this development. Uh, Chika, I want to say thank you very much for joining us and... Happy Sunday. Yes, it's, it's when you see a big, 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 big man like me out on a Sunday, <laughs> and on Sunday it on must Sunday. be a major breaking news. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> was this expected? And what's your reaction to this news? Like it's been extended for another ten days. Okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, um, in your rundown, you talked about the amount of pressure that the Central Bank has been, and what has been out there among you know the citizens and different other pressure pressure groups. Mm. Whether it's an LC, whether it's an MBA, and um, whether it's the politicians, the House of the Senate, the House of Reps, yeah. every everybody is, depending on their own interests in this um, uh, uh, new notes um, had asked for some extension. Some people were asking for extension for six months, and so on and so forth. But be that as it may, the Central Bank of Nigeria is a listening um, institution. Um, I, I don't want to put it that way. Let me even say that the president is a listening president mm. because the authority to do this, to make these changes, derive from the president of our, our country. All right. See, there's no arbitrariness in the Central Bank of Nigeria. They can't just go to town and do that. They can recommend, but the CBN ha the, uh, the president has authority to, you know, um, um, approve or not approve. For our viewers, may I provide some clarity to this? But I've a doubt. Um, if you will excuse me, can I go ahead? Please, you. Yeah, please. please. have the floor. Yeah. Um, that is, remember, for our viewers, I'll take it slowly, that uh, the original deadline was January 31st, 2023, for um, everybody to turn in their old nose uh, into their bank accounts. Now, that extension, uh, and, and the currency will cease to be a legal tender, means that you won't be able to buy or sell, you know, with it after January 31st. However, Central Bank, in, uh, in listening with the directive of the president, has now extended that to February 10th. So you have February 10th. By end of, uh, after the end of February 10th, the currency that you have seems to be a legal tender. That means you cannot, no, you cannot buy and sell with it, you know, and that's the, that's the first level. So take all your notes go into the banks and pay them into your bank accounts. By January, after January 10th, like February 10th, February 10th, this is to be legal tender. However, the CBN law, I think section 20, 23 and then section 22, also insists that even after the cessation of the currency being legal tender, the citizens of the country are allowed the grace period of what? Seven days. Hmm. To see, go and pay the money into their Account. accounts. So citizens, Again, after that expiration of the February 10th, the, the money you have now, you can't use it to buy and sell. However, you can still take it to your, bank, uh, to your banks and go and pay into your account up to February 17th. So let me take it again. You are allowed to take in your notes, use it to buy and sell up to February 10th. After February 10th, you cannot use it to buy and sell again, but between, you can then, but the, however, you can enter into your bank and pay, still pay it into your bank account, and your bankers will accept it up to February 17th. So, is, under the guise that the, some of these bankers and these tellers do know that that is. No, no, no. I mean, they, 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 because, because we've had issues whereby bankers, some bankers would, would say that it's past the deadline no, no. and they will need to seek clarification no, 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 before no. receiving this. Not, this. not this one. This is this is law. The CEOs of what the banks know about this. The Central Bank directs the CEO of what the banks. This is legally. It's not a, poly, it's not a memo or whatever. This is the law. And it has been communicated to all the banks. Let me take it again. Up to February 10th, you can see trade with the currencies. You have the 200, 200 naira and the 500 and 1,000 denominations of the old order. 
can, you know, and then still pay into bank account. But after end of February 10, the seat will be legal tender. Legal tender means that you can buy and sell with it. Mm. However, you can enter into your bank up to February 17th and give it to your bank. They will accept it and credit your account. Ch Chica, All you... this is geared towards making sure mm. that everybody, will know, nobody will have an excuse that he doesn't have enough time to exchange his own notes, For the uh, to put his own notes into the banking system. Mm. I hate using that word exchange. It's not actually an exchange. The issue is put your old notes into the mm. system and, and the, yeah, into the account so that you right. can you can subsequently you know, um, um, use that. Chika, if, if I may come in here, what's 10 days going to make, whether you extend it 10 days, 15 days, 20 days, if you don't systematically make available the new currency, you know, notes. That, that is an issue that people are finding mm -hmm. difficult out there, right? Very, the very, ATMs are closed. Very valid point, very valid point. But I must say also that uh, in driving out today, early this morning, a lot of the ATMs that I saw that were struggling for old, didn't have um, currencies before. Mm -hmm. Most of them were, you know, people were not queuing and collecting currency. What happened is that, you know, but, but not the new they know the, the, the new notes. No, no, uh, any bank that is spending old notes on a ATM mm -hmm. is going to be fined by Central Bank. Any, indeed, any bank that is dispensing old notes through ATM now is, I don't want to use what it's about, mm. it's not, it's, it shouldn't be doing it. That no bank should One million per day uh, uh, for, uh, penalty. penalty. Mm, yes. Penalty. No bank, no bank ATM as at this time should be, you know, uh, dispensing old notes. Mm. Any bank, there's any, any uh, uh, for viewers who, who sees that mm. should come to us, get across to us, who will get across to CBN on that. That law is out there, that rule is out there to all the banks. Mm -hmm. Now, um, let, let me put it this way uh, also. Um, you know, BVN, Roger BVN, Nigerians, whether it's lastminute.com, yeah. name, lastminute.com, recession, lastminute.com. Mm. A lot of people thought that, you know, th you know, this is going to be extended and so on and so forth. This is for real. Graciously, Central Bank has given this uh, 10 days, additional time, 10, 10 days, for you to get, get, you know, for it's going to be legal tender, buying and selling, and then, you know, pay into your bank. And then if you don't, you're not able to put, take in the money into your bank within the first 10 days, you see how the, you know, the, 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 that seven days extra, mm. up to 17th, you cannot buy and sell with it, mm. but you can still go to your bank, put it and pay into your bank account, and they will accept it from you. Oh. All the banks must accept it from you, that's the law. Okay, uh, another point, I'm, I'm sorry, Aaron. Uh, there's the issue of the amount there's a cap on the amount that you can actually take from the ATM, which uh, used to be 100,000 naira and now reduced to 20,000. So what's the scenario with, uh, see, with, with let's that? Let's put one? it this way. Mm. Remember there's a bigger issue in this, in this um, you know, the objective. All right. In this, um, um, the currency change and then um, thrown with the limits, ATM limit thrown into it. It's a fact that, remember, we had about 3.23 trillion of cash outside, outside the banking system. Uh, and, uh, and cash in circulation. Only about 500 billion was in the banking system. The other ones were, we didn't know where they were. In warehouses and so people's, other people's bed and so on and so forth. That's not a real culture. The direction we're moving to now is there are multiferous channels where you can do your transactions. You know, so moving your money into the system, into the bank, banking system, and then you can do your transactions. It's not an, a, an exchange. Exchange means that if you bring the old currency of 1 million naira, they will literally give you one million, one million dollar of new currency. No, the issue is bringing your money. Even the rural, the rural, the rural areas, the exchange is subject to a limit of 10, 10, 10, oh, okay. naira. So if you bring twenty thousand naira there, the super agents would give you exchange for ten thousand naira, and the other ten thousand they use to open bank account. Citizens, let's let's move into this. It changes. I change happens. It's for the no, good, no. good of our, our country. Let's open bank accounts. Let's start transacting through other alternative means. Bigger issues. Remember, CBN had monetary policy objectives on this exchange. Yeah. Inflation is so is coming down. Foreign our foreign currency exchange rate is stabilizing, and uh, even security agencies have uh, commented on this. And so let's work towards this. There are bigger uh, gains from the, uh, this. And the individuals, instead of sitting down and criticizing whatever, mm. if you have old news, you have the freedom now, mm. you have the latitude now, in the, up to February 10th, mm -hmm. to can put in the banking system. And it will still be like a tender. Mm. However, if you fail, 
he can still put into your bank up to February 17th, but it, cannot, it seems to be legal tender after February 10th. Uh, so that, for, for, for me, um, the, CBN, the president has listened, CBN has complied, and let's move on Nigeria. All right, um, let's talk about some very germane issues. Go ahead, brother. Uh, first of all, you mentioned the 3.2 trillion mm -hmm. that was probably mm -hmm. scattered all over the place. Mm -hmm. um, reports have it that the CBN's, um, the CBN was trying to reduce that to about a trillion. And there are talks that, as of today, there are just about 200 billion of that in the system. Give me a little clarification on that. Number what? one, no, also, I also want you to chew on this. Um, a lot of people have found it difficult to move around in the, in the last 48 hours because most banks that I know of, I'm not sure about, most banks, first of all, most banks actually dispense a thousand naira. Few banks are dispensing 500 naira. And I'm not, I'm yet to see a bank that has dispensed, an ATM that has dispensed 200 naira. Mm -hmm. How do we get those 200 nairas and the 500 nairas into the system if the ATM banks, I mean, if the ATM machines are not dispensing this note as much as the 1,000 naira notes? Okay. What I want to show you is the furore um, arising from the, uh, you remember? There has been so much noise and confusion about this um, 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 currency change. Mm. Some sanity is going to come in the next, from now to the next 10 days. All right. And the banks now have the, you know, the structure and the, the, the freedom to do this. More currencies have been printed by central bank. Mm -hmm. I want to show you that they have enough currency. Um, of course, a lot, some issues have to do logistics have limited some um, uh, uh, distribution. But all that is going to sort out. And that's why this 10 grace period, 10, 10 days grace period, you know, um, is going to work for the citizens of the country. Now, what, I, what I, I, I'm encouraging everybody, you know, this amount of cash that, like I was telling my my drivers, this, my staff this morning, I said, why are you holding so much cash? Mm. Why are you holding cash? You know, this amount of cash. The alternative channels for you to do your your transactions. The see your joints, you know, some of them have the POS, some of them do will do transfer and, and and so on and so forth. But as the president has said, three months was enough time for anybody who had the structure, who had, you know, good mind to bring in their money into the bank system. You know, I have a relationship with a lot of banks, and I keep calling them. You know, most of them open, were open on, on Saturdays. Yeah, I keep calling some of my, my the staff, what's happening? Well, a lot of them were idle in the, in, the, in the banking halls, doing nothing. Some of them didn't attend weddings because they, they were forced to come there on Saturday, yet Nigerians didn't go there to go and put their money into the, into the, into the banks. Is this last minute that's happening? Hmm. Um, I'm not here to speak as the the, the genuineness of uh, a lot of people who are now suddenly um, talking about the rural areas, rural areas, hmm. rural areas that have not gone to. I'm not even talking about uh, rural areas. Area. I'm just talking about I'm talking about people hmm. within the metropolis of Lagos. Mm -hmm. How do we get the, the 200? Central bank, the 500. The Central bank has in circulation has enough stock of the 200, enough stock of the 500. Okay. Now a lot of banks. Like I've, I've, I've told CBN several times, they need to knock the head of the banks, a lot of banks, to so sit down and partner with them in this respect and push these things into the, into the ATMs. The monies are there. And uh, remember, it is a major, massive operation. Even the CBN press release told, told you that it's a massive operation. And I'm hoping that with these 10 days, with the breather that we we'll have, uh, a, lot, a lot of things will be easier. Thank I'm sure, because... This morning, along the areas I live, a lot of ATMs that were like, most of them, a lot of people are queuing there and, you know, looking happy. On our own road, okay, I just, okay, mm. I just have um, 2,000 naira with me, <laughs> in all sincerity. <laughs> and I've had that for the past three or four days. I tried to, I went to at least four ATMs on our own road, mm -hmm. and none of them, none of them, both mm. for my own bank and other banks mm. around the vicinity, well, none of them had cash. CBN, I hope you're hearing. Mm. I mean, none know, of them had cash. We don't, we're not standing here on your wing up for you, but we, I hope you're hearing. We are speaking like this because we believe in the, the, the objective of the currency change. Yeah. This has not happened for a country in 19 years. And um, the currency was so easy now. A lot of people are, are making the fake currency and, um, and, and so on and so forth. So this was due. Uh, for a lot of economies, it's been five to eight years, yeah, this yeah, change. So, the, the, the fundamentally, the change was due. Mm. 
And um, so we only calling on Central Bank to partner with the Nigerian banks to make sure the citizens of our country get the, 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 the denominations, especially the 200 and the 500. And the 500. Uh, yeah. Actually, if I may go back to Aaron, uh, we're in the same boat regarding the 2,000 naira <laughs> issue there, <laughs> currently. But, but Chika, uh, the overriding objectives mm -hmm. of the currency change, mm -hmm. yes, we know, you know it's been like three months uh, that uh, we have this uh, window of opportunity mm -hmm. to do all of this. And uh, gradually, we will see the changes mm -hmm. as it comes after the deadline. Mm -hmm. But do you think the overriding objectives in terms of, uh, you know, stopping fraudulent activities, mm -hmm. especially when uh, election season mm -hmm. to a large extent, mm -hmm. do you I think mean, mm -hmm. they have been achieved so far? Yes. With this, uh, so, so far, so mm -hmm. good. So good. The other element, a mm -hmm. contingent, uh, complement, a complementary um, um, policy mm -hmm. to these. Is the one the NFI, NFI Nigerian Financial Intelligence I think, Unit uh, came out and said that for all the local go uh, state accounts and the local government accounts, there shall be no more cash withdrawals. Mm. Uh, for me, that's major. If that complements CVN cash policy, we will have a new country. We will have a new country. Because a lot of, I, I mean, I dealt some of these this government people, you see the amount of cash they carry around. Because, you see, the people, <laughs> Whenever that uh, this money is released in Abuja for the states, go to the the bill they change. You find a foreign currency, mm. you know, depreciates more, and the transactions are not handed through the banking system. They are handed through cash. You know, so many things are handed through, through mm. cash. So nobody passes through that uh, to the uh, proper channel, uh, banking channels. Mm. Tax, ta even our tax collection will be will be also will be better for us. There are big objectives, and I think they have been achieved. All right, so let's go back to um, the CBN governor, the man in the eye of the storm. Mm -hmm. Do you think the pressure will abate, or do you think people will still be clamoring and calling for a further extension? Because 10 days, it's a really grace for those that have not been able to mop up their cash and send it into the banks. Do you think that this would abate, or people will still insist that... Godwin and Mefele, this is not enough. <laughs> you must give us at least till maybe March. Ah. Mm. Now, Talk the, to us about, do you think the, the, the what will happen right yeah. now from mm. Monday? You know, you know um, I used to tease the, the governor yeah. the air like and say, um, I'm sure the man sees this so often because <laughs> the amount of time that um, people call, call, uh, call his name. Okay. <laughs> I was flying to Poraco the other day, um, I think Wednesday, uh, for a five-minute flight. The guys, about three or four people were traveling together. Throughout that for a five-minute flight, it was, it was all got in the Mayfield, got in the Mayfield, you know, and I, 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 if I had the man on line, I'm sure he would have been sneezing throughout the, the flight. Me that I see, man. Me that I see, And I think that these 10 days, um, as if I'm, we are advising the bank, mm -hmm. it's to sit down, not sit down, you know, with the bank, bank CEOs, Nigeria is a massive country, a massive country. Um, um, I don't know the amount of traveling, road travel they are done. It's a massive country. Yes, it is. And um, some of these branches have 600, some of these banks yeah. have 600 branch networks, but are properly organized into regions and so on and so forth. Um, CBN uh, have to cross it, uh, dot the I's and cross the T's in, in the way they have distributed the currencies. If they have done it in such slip, slip short manner in the past, or the man, let me use Nigerian English. <laughs> they should better get the right structure in these remaining days. I believe that working together with the banks, um, the panic withdrawers, a lot, a lot of the withdrawers were panic withdrawers. Mm -hmm. So people didn't need money really for any transaction. Mm -hmm. We're actually going out there to go and withdraw money. Withdraw money. Uh, but it seems that if, the, if people are sure that the ATM is going to have cash if it, uh, as and when needed, mm -hmm. there will be no panic withdrawers. And I, I think that's a sanity that I think that um, I have a feeling that the Syrian government must meet all the bank CEOs today, and every day they should meet to from now to the tenth of this February to make sure that things are work out properly and I dimension and, and understand the progress made, so that there will be no further extension like the name one that well, all right. is. Chika, in one minute, and finally, mm -hmm. you talked about the issue of alternatives, you know, e-banking mm -hmm. and all that. But then again, we also have our hiccups with such alternatives as well, mm -hmm. network issues and all, all that. That's also creating its own panic mm -hmm. in the financial system. So, you know, and uh, it's understandable why people are also, mm. you know, in tune with cash and the 
you know, mass uh, if it, hysteria regarding mm, uh, 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 If I just add to yes. that also, mm. um, are we ready for um, cashless transactions mm -hmm. in terms of how many, how many POS machines mm -hmm. do we have out there to be able to... Even on your individual phones where mm. you have the, the mm. issues there. Let, 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 me even, mm. let me even put it this way. Yeah? I will mention the person, mm. one of the popular, the number one person in technology in the world mm. at the time, said that, you know, even him that is pushing technology, mm. each time he's traveling, he has $10,000 cash. <laughs> there you go. Always <laughs> 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 with him. Because those cards can, mm. you may be checking at the hotels, and then just for the day, you know, yeah. they, they'll tell you, sir, do you, Mr. Bonnie, do you have another card? You know, that's mm -hmm. you know you're in trouble, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> <laughs> you, know you know, so that, that can happen. Yes. But it, it, I agree with you, and I've spoken about that several times on this program, that the, 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 the banking system cannot ride above the level of infrastructure we have in our country, mm. or the quality of infrastructure we have in our country. Listen, guys, the, most of the ATMs that you see are driven by SIM cards. Mm -hmm. The SIM cards that you and me know the quality of making phone calls and so on and so forth. The POS is the same thing. And so the race under the fabric of the, of the telecom architecture we have in the country. Um, but it's, it's to have the first uh, four bank and four bank and a complex resolution mechanism when the transactions don't go through. Because Nigerians suffer a lot. When transactions don't go through, mm. it's sometimes it takes them four, five minutes before they get it. Time working days. Re, 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 Usually time working days. Mm. For me, I've spoken about that. That's one area the central bank must find a way of making sure that uh, 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 yeah, the reversals That's are done weeks. automatically. Yes, because it may be your last card. Yes. You know, um, I remember I, the time I got to Abuja for a hotel, hotel first one bounced me, first one bounced me, and they didn't revive. What if I didn't have any other money there to there pay for it? I would have been in deep, deep trouble. Mm. Yeah. So that's another, another thing also. All right, you know. okay. I want to say thank you very Thanks much. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Time and sh and mm. shedding a lot of clarity yeah. on mm. this new path. And we're mm. all in Indeed. it together. Yeah, it's our country. And we're hoping to get yeah. out better. Change. The only thing is change. <laughs> let's have, let's, let's uh, hug this change and then move towards it. You know? All right. Thank Pleasure. you. Mm.